So now that we've covered the five triangle congruence theorems, you may be asking, what about angle side side? Please don't be uptight. <laughs> okay, so now let's go ahead and explore why angle side side would not work as a triangle congruence theorem. So if we have a set of corresponding angles that are congruent and a set of corresponding sides that are congruent, okay, so we have two sets. We have an angle followed by two consecutive congruent sides. The issue is with that second congruent side, since we don't know the angle in between the two congruent sides, we don't exactly know its position. So I could take that side and swing it over to a new location and still show that angle side side is still the case here, no matter how I choose to draw that second triangle. And I have the option of drawing it either way, since that's an isosceles triangle, so both of those sides are definitely congruent to each other. Now if I draw it this way as an acute triangle, I see that I have angle side side, however, the base of each triangle clearly are not the same, and these triangles clearly are not congruent. So due to this ambiguity, angle side side or side side angle is not enough to prove that two triangles are congruent. Thanks again for joining us, guys. I hope you had some fun on this one. Remember, math can be fun, so don't be afraid to laugh. See you next time. Thanks a lot, guys, for checking us out. And please follow us on Instagram at MashupMath for daily math tips, animated flashcards, and our math in sports infographics. Check it out. <laughs>